Man, this has got to be one of the wildest, craziest sneakers in my collection. And I'm real curious to see what it looked like. Trimmed. Let's get into it. So let's get into it, man. Here we have it right here. This is gonna be a very in-depth video. We're gonna start off with the box, okay? Taking a look at the box. At the top, it reads Nike. And on the other, right there, it reads Add Sunshine, okay? With a Nike, and the Nike logo below it. And on the bottom, just like that. You're taking a look on the inside of the box, you open it up, all right? That's what it comes with. It comes with a lot of accessories also, y'all. It comes with a two swooshes, two long swooshes, okay? I don't know where on the shoes these will go, but it comes with these. Okay, get that out of the way. Also come with a little duffel bag, okay? The logo right here on the inside has just do it, okay? Nice little, nice little bag, nice little duffel bag. Now, on the inside you have real pretty nice paper. You open that up, open that up and also have another white paper and there you guys have it right there i'm not even gonna lie to you guys <laughs> i'm still shocked and impressed that i hit on these crazy crazy looking shoe okay now for you guys who don't know all right let me read off the box box reads nike c p f m flea one forest green sale vert 4 et okay size nine personal size what c p f m means and it stands for it stands for cactus plant flea market okay these right here this is a collab shoe they team up with nike they do a lot of collaboration such as the one before this, it kind of just the same silhouette, except it doesn't have the crazy grass growing on it or the hair that's growing on it, okay? Uh, I'll put a picture up right here for you guys. And also, I know a lot of you probably remember the Nike Dunk CPFM, the one that has like the silver diamonds and stuff on it. And the other one also has like gold, I think, on it. Those are going for crazy, crazy, crazy amount of money. Now, I think these might be the only one that's going for less. And it's always crazy because I always hit on a sneaker, they go for less, like that's just my luck. I mean, I never hit on the hype, hype, hype uh, version of that, you know, that collab. But anyway, that's it, man. We're gonna take a quick look at the shoe. And like I said, man, these are crazy. Okay, so for most of people who don't know, CPFM, they're always known for doing crazy, outrageous, I mean, dope stuff when it comes to their shoes. They pretty much take a silhouette, a sneaker, and just add some crazy touches to it and just make it pops and go way more than a shoe would go, okay? So this shoe, this theme of this sneaker is pretty much an overgrown grass. So I know a lot of people thinking it's the hair or it represents the Grinch. I've seen a lot of people calling it the Grinch. I'm not sure, I'm not thinking, I don't think it's, it's the Grinch. It's pretty much an overgrown grass. So, and the bottom is, so if you're taking a look at it, and the bottom, Right here at the bottom midsole right here is like the dirt patches area where it's like the grass is growing up out of the ground. So, crazy theme. I feel like it's a dope silhouette. It's a crazy looking shoe, but I think the shoe look way more better when it's trimmed. Each midsole of the shoe is different. This one is a different kind of ground material. And this one is more brown, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that. The bottom is, this one is brown, and this one is more of a gray. And also, features the Nike Dunk low bottom, okay? It's Nike Dunk low bottom, so that is a fire touch to it. That's why I see a lot of people was calling it the Dunk, 
But we are gonna get into some full details of this sneaker. Each sneaker is different. Each shoe is different, okay? Like I've been saying, the top, well, before we get to that, we are gonna read off what this orange tag says, okay? It says, I've been growing. Please trim excess material on Nike CPFM Flea 1 before wear, okay? That is what that says. So therefore, they want you to cut these, cut the grass before you wear them, okay? Keep, this, keep the grass cut so you can see the snakes. That was lame. But anyway, comes with two extra pair of shoelaces, both green. This is like a rope lace one. And this one is like, this one is not like, it is a flat lace, okay? Flat lace um, shoelace. Bottom of the sneaker, the midsole on this pair represent the ground, okay? And also, more you wear it, the more it's supposed to come off and reveal something else. Just like when you, when you trim this shoe, it would also reveal a different material below it. The shoelace that comes in it, I feel like that is dope. It is nice touch to it. Taking a look at the tongue on the left shoe, the tongue on the left shoe reads Nike, okay? And also, which is so dope too, guys, this tongue, it has a zipper. It has a zipper right here. You can unzip it. You can store whatever you want to store inside of that. That's a that's a dope touch too. I like that. Like I said, this this shoe man, it has a lot a a lot of um dope things to it. And so paper shoe tree on the inside of this shoe comes with a L on the left shoe. I know a lot of people wondering what does the L stand for? The L stands for left. Because the shoes are so crazy, you don't know which one is left from right. Looking at it like this, you don't know. So it has the L on the inside for you to know what shoe this is okay now another nice touch to it you got the yin yang logo patch right there okay and on the midsole on the inside of the sneaker taking a close look you will see the nike swoosh on this side all right nice crazy styling of shoe okay back tab you have a pull tab also right shoe you have same thing, like I said, right here, this one comes off way more easier. Even like right now, if I touch it too hard, the bottom, the, it's like rocks and stuff. It will come off real, real easy, okay? So, yes, yeah, just like on the other shoe, you have the yin yang patch right there. Now on the other side, you also have the Nike swoosh on that side. Only thing different about this shoe, you guys can see, on the tongue, it has CPFM logo on there and also have a zipper on this one also we can unzip and put whatever you want to put in there comes with a shoe tree also now on this one another thing that's different on this shoe you have a r inside of the um the sole which stands for your right foot okay taking a look at the bottom i like the bottom of this one better it's nice it's clean so yeah also on the back, you have a pull tab, just like the other shoe. Now for release information, these are already released, but they're not doing too crazy on the resale market. But right now for re retail price was 190. After tax and all, I paid about $200. Um, I hit these on the Nike sneakers app. And I know also Cactus Plant Flea Market, they already released them like a day or two before Nike did. And so they already had their releases. Right now, resale prices is not, it was crazy at first. This was going for like maybe 600 to 500. When I first bought them, they was going for like 450. And now they're down to like 350 in my size, a personal size, size nine. Come to this shoe and comparing it to the previous releases i must say i'm gonna be honest this is by far the wildest and the craziest one that i've seen okay this one is just a lot of people don't like it because of the crazy hair and well grass that's growing on the shoe not really grass and i, I must i must mention it has a crazy smell to it. it it got like a chemical smell to it so when you first get them you probably recognize the smell it's like a real strong chemical smell to it but Comparing this to the other previous ones, a lot of people don't like this one, which I can understand and I can see. But like I said, when you trimmed it, I feel like it looks way better. I 
much do I like this shoe? At first, when I first hit on them, I couldn't believe it, for one. And second, I was like, okay, I'm gonna sell these shoes. But once I got them, I started looking at them more and more. And I said, man, this is different. This is like a collector's item. This is a conversation starter piece. Like, you can have this in your collection, not even work, you just have it, you know, sit somewhere. And once people look at your collection, they can start a conversation. Or if you do decide to wear them and you go out in public, people see them, they gonna, this is going to start conversation, especially if you let the grass keep on growing. So me personally, I would definitely give these a solid 7 out of 10. And I give that because it looks better when it's trimmed. With that being said, when it comes to wearability, <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure when and how would you wear this. A lot of people compare it to the Grinches, so I feel like Christmas Day would be the most right day. <laughs> That's the right way to say that, to wear these. So, I mean, if you cop these, you can rock them on Christmas Day. But me personally, that's probably the only time I would wear them. Unless, like I said, you trim them up. And, or you go to a sneaker event. Sneaker convention, like a lot of sneakers, you go to a sneaker event, you no. Know, and you pull these out, you might be the only one there with them on. And I love to be the only one with a shoe on. I would never go to a sneaker event and rock a sneaker like a like a Travis Scott. Everybody gonna have it on. I'd rather go to a sneaker event and rock some Air Force Ones all white. I'm saying I like to be different, but I would rock these at a sneaker event because people are scared to wear these and you will stand out and it's gonna cause attention, you know? I've seen a lot of comments and posts around the internet and a lot of people are wondering and asking, what is sizing like on these? Now guys, I must tell you guys, when it comes to sizing, go true to size. This fit just like a dunk, okay? Fit just like a Nike dunk low. So if you are a true size nine, like I am, go with your true to size on these. You would not be disappointed. You could go up a, um, maybe you could go up a half size just to be a little bit more comfortable. But I would say go up, uh, I would say go go true to size, go true to size. And it fits nice, I mean, it's real comfortable for one. It feel, it fit like a SB dunk. It got a lot of padding on the inside. Not sure if I show you guys that, but it's very padded. It got a lot of cushion. It looks comfortable. First of all, it looked like a house shoe. You just rock around the house. But, and it feels like that also. It's warm and it's comfortable. With that being said, this shoe might be better off in the winter time. I'm just saying, but it's comfortable, so go true to size. That's it for me in today's video. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if this video gets to 150 likes, I would definitely trim these. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm real curious to see what they look like trim, especially my pair. And I will do that for you guys. So hit the like button down below. Help us get to 150 likes, okay? Also, subscribe and turn off post notifications because you don't want to miss when I drop these and I trim them. I'll probably go live and I'll trim them on live and let you guys see. So, get us to 150 likes and I'll make that happen for you guys. So, with all that being said, man, let me know what your, your thoughts and opinions on these also. It's a crazy sneaker, it's a crazy shoe, but hey, it's a sneaker game. Hey, just, we gotta enjoy it. And I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Until the next time, tell a friend, tell a friend. We out, peace. Pretty spy boss man, right? Thank you.